Hi, I'm Tyson from the All-American Rejects. And I'm Avril Levine. And what are we doing here? We are here to talk about the songs that we just wrote for the compilation album called Almost Alice. So let's do that. We have something in common. We do. We came here together to talk about a uh, little, little uh, CD out called Almost Alice. For Songs that. based on... The Inspiration from Alice in Wonderland. We're already finishing each other's sentences. This is so <laughs> bizarre. You can imagine what it was like when we, when we got a phone call from whoever. Or wait, you called them, right? <laughs> it's actually a funny story for me because I have a clothing line, Abby Dawn, and I was... Is that a tattoo? Of yes, said Abby Dawn, it's my nickname. And I also named my clothing line that. So it's, it means a lot. So anyway, so I was doing a, um, a collection for my line that was an in um, Alice in Wonderland, Abby Dawn kind of mix. I asked if I could write the song for it and just, you know, I was like, give it a shot. And, and then I found out that everyone was writing. It's, it's a really cool album to be a part of. Yeah, totally. I like your song. I checked uh, it out. I liked your song and the video is cool. How was that like? It was fun. I got to um, play you got to Alice wear the dress. for the day. Wear the, the Victorian dress and fall down the hole and I spent the day in the forest getting twigs in my hair. <laughs> At the tea party with Johnny Depp. Yeah. So neat. What did you decide you wanted production-wise and the choosing of instruments? Did you write it on the guitar? Yeah, I, I wrote on the guitar. I went out on the road. You know how like sort of weird it is when you're writing. Like either you have like an opportunity to You do wrote it. it on the road? Yeah, we were, we were writing on the road and they, we got a call and it was like 10 days left of tour. And I was like, well, I, I've never done this before. I've never written for something. Like, mm -hmm. why not? Let's try a perverted experiment. So I, you know, <laughs> did it in a... And it, you know, of course, because it was written on a guitar, it just turned into this acoustic song that's kind of got this like Simon and Garfunkel, mm -hmm. you know, meets Floyd in the middle with this like trip out. Like, I had this upright piano and I put a, my vocal mic in the bottom of where the strings are and I sang all the harmonies on the middle section with the, the foot pedal down, screaming through the, uh, the strings and like it, it went like... So you would Boo. have like an echo kind yeah, of? Yeah, you kind of got this like whatever note you were singing was like reverbing the string that cool. you were singing. It was pretty, it's pretty neat and it makes the voices sound like they're in this watery sort of, you know, trippy thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like it. Yours doesn't, it doesn't really sound like anything you've done before, right? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a sort of song that was written on the road like in this transition that I had. Uh, so this song's about how She's this terrible debutante who doesn't sort of know what she has or sort of... And of course it's written from the perspective of the person who's got their heart dumped on. Yeah, and I think that's that. what's cool um, by hearing you say that, and that's also what I did, was kind of just like also threw myself into the song. I chose to write the song, my song, um, on the piano because I wanted it to be moody Mood. and theatrical dramatic. So I took to the piano and I kind of just started with this build. You do it like this? And then literally like this like with this. my two fingers. Dun, 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 bum, 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 bum. My, my intro is a build. That's how I wanted to express myself. So um, how is that when you're writing? Like do you just sort of like close your eyes and lose yourself with whatever you're playing or is it like? What for me what was cool about this song was I wasn't trying to write like a pop radio hit. I was right, just trying to, to yeah, I just was trying to write like a cool song for a Tim Burton film, Alice in Wonderland, and with me being a female and thinking about Alice and her character, like what she was going through, it was like, for me it was, it wasn't too much of a challenge because I could relate to Alice so much and I'm right. just thinking about her and channeling that. Great interview for a great cause. Oh yeah. My, whoa, your eyes almost cut me. <laughs> no, so, but if you're interested in checking out any of this music, which you should be, because uh, we just told you all about the reasons why, <laughs> then check it out. Uh, check almost, out the Al almost, almost Alice. Still. Check out the Almost Alice compilation. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tyson from the All American Rejects. Do you think I bite? <laughs> 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 Hello, I'm Tim Burton. <laughs> and I'm Alice. <laughs> and I'm Avril Levine. And we are in a rabbit hole. 
<laughs> it was. Thanks, um, champ. It really was. Hey, you left me hanging back there. I, <laughs> <don't leave> me. <laughs> I didn't so. even see that you're throwing dubs out. <laughs> yeah. Have you done an interview with some uh, another artist before? <laughs> no. No? No. Of I'm not. your first? Yeah, you totally. Ah. Yeah, buddy. You're not my first. No. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> this really uh <laughs> yeah. I got the buddy pat. <laughs> Doing out you do it you did an interview with Avril and she gives you the buddy pat. <laughs> no nose laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> So that was a really fun little interview sesh with you. Yeah, it was pretty cool. 